This is the thing, but sometimes you just don't find it. I've seen this play before, though. There's the flash out of the seismic shove. Nicely done. Two isolated 1v1s, though, and there's the Dawning Shadow. That's going to keep uh, Guon alive. But still, Faker is going to go down. A trade of mid laners, but first blood goes to T1. As Gideon going to get in there. He has snared himself, though. Crescent Guard comes down. That should mitigate a lot. Empress Divide does absolutely nothing. And there's the Devour to save Guon. And now he dives back in. The Dragon gets angry, but it does not matter at all. T1 are destroying them, and Guon popping off in this fight. He finds the resets. That's going to be played. So, I mean, I really just love the fact So we see the old get flashed away from. They focus don't, damage don't, onto don't, the, don't, 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 the Diego, don't, don't, don't. but then the shield when he comes don't, don't. out means they're not able to finish him off. He gets the reset from the passive, oh, up here. You and the smolder does Come not on, have the damage to finish him off. Just beautifully played. the immunity frames, and then just keep on going. The confidence to go back in there was great, and T1, oh. the game felt... Uh, I think Polly was just dead. Well, he's going to twist in advance, and then Kerry is going to get the kill. We've got a battle here on the top side of the map. Gideon, can you make your way in? As he doesn't. Gets knocked up there. Oh, now he's going to try and turn it, but Kerry is going to turn up as well. Looking for the opportunity. Guon turns up in the nick of time as well. They do get their prize, but they'll have to sacrifice two for it. What point exactly happened, but there's some point in the game where Bro regretted. Well, giving um, all to Carrier. Um, which enables Guon to be hyper aggressive as now Gideon has found Zayas, but Carrier has found both of them. And he's just walking. Look at how menacing he is. Doesn't have Devour up and available, but he also cannot die no matter what they do. And there goes the tree. Polo going to be taken down here. Gideon in trouble as Morgan. He thought he had the safety of an inner turret. He does not. This is carry it. <laughs> quite a good lead, though. It oh. Is. oh, they're making a play. All right, looking for it, Zayas has been attacked here. Morgan is losing out on the battle, but he has buddies that are turning up. Polo's there, Envy's there. Everyone is on their way, and I think everyone might be necessary. Isaias is just trying to take matters with their hands. He picks up one. Is it going to be more? Oh, my. I was getting world's flashbacks there, and ladies and gentlemen. Just walk on over towards this Baron. Another teleport going to be used this time from Morgan, who does need to run all the way around if he wants to get in here. Gideon on top of Gumiyushi right now, but the snare does come through. Carrier gets over the wall. The dragon gets mad. And Carrier almost in execute range. Oh, the seismic shove! Oh, the goggle! He's so good, and he just eats the dragon! And now he's not going to die. It's a triple <laughs> kill! But this guy's Tom Kench, and then he gets back in there to tank up the Baron! Game, oh, we are going to get a replay. Yeah, his uh, Carrier's perspective. Do, 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 do. He's just going in. I can turn on the I'm good, I'm not dying. <laughs> That's what he just says. I'm fine. That was the po point where I was like, he's probably dead, but no, 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 no. Penta, 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 Penta. Penta, he wanted that Penta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. And then go on saying just sorry. Stack up your passive. Against the champions that have bro have to stack it up on the smolder. Okay, uh, Carrier is diving in to four people. Will he take a damage? The answer is kind of no. Right now, Seismic Shove does come back. The Weaver's Wall brings Faker in there. Look at Carrier's health bar. It's full again. Uh, in goes Zayas. That was a jump scare. Yes, I would have done exactly that, MV. Dawning Shadow comes down. The Dragon, I think, did something that I didn't really notice. And Guon, he's going to turn into the enemy jungler and just start resetting all the way through. Empress oh! Divide gets three onto the fountain, and Carrier is going to die. That is how you do it. The fountain I, laser. I was just about to say, I think the only way he could overextend is by walking into the enemy fountain, and then by Jove it happened. That was a secret weapon this whole time. Needs to see if he can, oh no. Oh dear. Uh, uh, there, were some, there were some rocks, straight rocks on the ground. However, Faker is going to go down. Karas goes golden. Has he bought it? No, he hasn't. Uh, Gideon is up though, and now they're uh, a second. Yeah, yeah. Go, go in, go in, go in! Just turned into Azir, decides he doesn't want to. They grab another one. Polo, it's his turn to try and defend this Nexus. It's not going to work out as Guan says goodnight to the. Okay. Oh, 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 oh
끝내면 하고 나왔고 가보면 끝나 가보면 끝나 이거 어, 먹고 와디고 다시 한번 하자 뭐 할게 뭐 해? 출발 출발 보여주면 될 듯? 출발 출발 해봐 해봐 아직 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 나한테 그렇다 한번 피드 돌려주네? 아직 안 해본 거 같은데 합시다 어 뭐야 왜 그래 끝낼게 끝낼게 나이스 버스 같아요 잘하신다 안돼 진짜 말이 안 된다 And it's like, well, you don't die, which is good, but you can see Andy really wants that wave. Oh, uh, Zayus also really wants this kill, as Morgan not going to get hit by the sweet spot that time around. I'm responsible for all the bad dragons. Not yep, you are. Tech, it's just any bad souls. Yeah, it's just if, if it's non-interactive. Now, Envy doesn't have his spell shield, he's going to flash as Guon gets lit on fire. Another minion wave is conga lining forward, though. As Bubble going to be avoided. Now Faker comes down as well. Oh dear, there was that interaction you were talking about before and just punched. He had the spell shield back and now Polu is just a little cat on a book and will be cut down by the culling. Closer, it's going to give less time before you can spell shield. Just give you the opportunity to react. Well, there's an all out and a glacial prison. So Zaius should be going down here. Does flash the wall though. And never mind, he's Aatrox. He doesn't die in these situations. And now Morgan finds a Q. There's the knock up. The permafrost is there. He gets so much of his health back. And now Faker gets enough time to turn up. And so Zaius once again is the noble sacrifice. And yeah, team so Guma gets his first item. Oh, I've seen this attempt before. Well, then they're going to be used as Morgan. Gonna break the chains. Now goes for the all out, but there's a teleport. Guan's coming in as well. He's got the ulti and he'll use it on top of Gideon right now. He has, has the glacial prison, so Faker delayed a little bit, but it does not matter. This Sejuani is well and truly dead, and Morgan is not gonna be left up as well. Karis is just, he's like, oh, no, 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 no. This isn't where I parked my car, and he will wander by. Uh, and get he's there for the, the turret. He's right? there for the minions. He's like, don't mind me, just, I just wanna clean this up. Hey, I, I don't want no trouble. Uh, well, uh, that is an investment of a tidal wave. As Envy not going to get caught in the bubble. Oh, you'd be out. You're like a typewriter. It's crazy. Okay, well, go on. Gonna look for his opportunity. That's a great Emperor's Divide. I just don't know how much it actually matters as Faker was tanking the turret. That's gonna take him down. Oh. And the denting blows. Go on, is just gonna tank this turret and die. And that's a double for Gideon. Big mistake here for T1 underneath the bottom out of turret as now Gumiushi is looking for Envy here. They do have the ulti from the Yumi, but she pops off and now she's dead. Oh, T1, can they finish the dive? Is Envy actually going to be okay? As Carrier thinks, no, he does pop the shield and now he's in between these turrets and that is the 1v1. Uh, <laughs> that's a dangerous Nami. Stopped. Very nicely. Yeah, you know, a lot of people talked about going like, uh, Kraken Navori is like the more tank shredder build. Oh. Yeah. That's uh, all right. They do find the Glacial Prison onto Faker, but there is so much keeping him alive. Empress Divide lands onto two, but where is the damage here from the bros? Gideon's not actually taking very much of it as the all out does come on through. The help of the turret was employed, but unneeded as Guon will be taken down. It's a one for one. Karis in trade, but now Gideon is going to face check. There's the bubble, and Gumiyushi says goodnight. The fight is not over yet, as now Faker is going to bring this wave in, and Morgan, nowhere to go. He's got his pet cat, and he decides he wants to take the 2v2 instead. Gumiyushi is in melee range, but it looks like he doesn't really mind too much about it, as Polu is going to get blinged back. Uh, and then we get we're against a center who scales really well. This is like a mid-game comp from T1. Yeah, that's true. So this has to be happening right now, as Gideon getting in amongst it, actually take... Oh, they catch Gumiyushi! Great Empress Divide once again! But Envy is going to be the trade. Carrier doesn't get the bubble as now Faker wants to flick someone this back has been in. One of Karras's most impressive performances, even after their couple of victories. Oh, uh, over the Quantum Freaks is okay. Carrier going to get permafrosted as Faker will find Gideon with that flick. And is he a tank? I'm not entirely sure. Carrier somehow staying alive for way too long, but now Karras is going to get in there. The Aatrox goes down and Faker's like, nope, I'm all on my way out of this. Bro, one. they have a lot of wave clear. Let's see how this one's going to go. The Vite going to crash on in here as there's the Weaver's Wall. Tidal Wave as well being a real problem. Envy with a good spell shield this time around. The final chapter does come on through. Good knock up there onto oh! the Azir, but now Morgan fights everyone. Carrier going to be taken down. There's the all out, but I don't know whether he really wanted to go over here. Faker able to take him down. Still, Guan is going to be left to the Wolves. And Gumiyushi, can you actually stop them from just pushing through? And I think he won't be able to. That's a two-for-one trade Just keep in pushing. favor of the bros! Just keep pushing till the Nexus at this point. <laughs> oh, there's a flanking Aatrox. Well, Tidal Wave is going to be invested here as Envy. I don't know about that one. There is the Vi manages to catch out the Sivir and Karras. The next one on the chopping block and the flanking Aatrox 
is just going to come around and execute him. No more damage left. No more hope for Bro to stop this soul. And Morgan is going for that back. He wants to teleport back in. The Elder has been started. T1 moving over towards his control ward, so they know that this flank exists. There's the Weaver's Wall, Azaeus. He's on the wrong side of it for now. The Tidal Wave does come on in as he's looking for the Qs, and now he dives in on top of them. The Sivir does take down Goron to start this fight off, but I have a feeling that's the end of the good news. There goes Envy. It's a double for Zaeus. Make it a triple, as T1 will just wipe the floor with Bro. They'll take themselves an Elder, and this may just be the end of the game. Well, yeah, really beautifully done. Great execution on a mid-game composition as well. There are couple of whoopsies that they did, but I think you do need to keep up the the uh, aggression with a comp like this. We've seen some of these Lucian compositions not quite work out, and Gumishi Carrier making it look pretty good. <laughs> smooth as they will take down the Nexus. A 2-0 for T1, reclaiming that first place. Yep, uh, well, I mean, I think 